think with the, the way that the women's game's progressed in the last three or four years, it's obviously moved so quickly. Um, and I don't think we'd have been able to be as professional as we wanted to be without the help of the PCA. I think they've really driven a lot of the conversations that we've had with ECB um, and just, I guess, helped us to take our mind off the all, all the off-field stuff and, and help us and do what we need to do on the cricket pitch, which is ultimately trying to win games for England. It's the increase in contracts, um, the constant prog progress within the domestic game, like that's amazing to see. And even the new franchise competitions like the WPL uh, and like, IPL and everything, like it's really promising. I didn't think I would ever be a professional cricketer, um, and now there's loads of opportunities to actually go out there and actually play cricket and get paid for it as well and it can be a genuine career option and um, so yeah I, I think it's only going up and I'm so excited to see where, where it goes for the next few years as well. Like there are kids coming out of school getting professional contracts which in the women's game is, is not something we, we're used to so yeah I think at 18 um, I think it's pretty vital to have someone, someone on your side and helping you out with, with the basics yeah. Standard of cricket's gone up. The sort of the media attention in the hundred and the regional stuff. Um, we're playing, going to be playing more and more games. At, sort of like we're playing at Edgebaston a few times this year. We've got some double headers. So I think, you know, the fact that that's happening is great. But the only way we're going to get more of that um, is by upping the professional contracts. I've um, got in touch with PCA about like that recently. The transition from when I might retire in a few years' time and working out um, what that looks like and making sure I've got a plan really because it is difficult. I've spoken to other players where they've not had a plan and they've gone straight to retirement and find it really difficult. So, um, you know, just things like that or if I fancy doing um, some kind of educational course next week, PCA can provide that for us. So, um, whether it be mental health or um, educational offers, PCA have got everything. I think just keep nurturing the game and um, keeping up with with uh, teams like India and Australia. They're obviously our, our biggest rivals alongside others, but I think their investment is, has been pretty important to their growth as well, and, and India's just going to kick off now, obviously, the, the WPL, and the opportunity for those players to improve is, is huge now. So, um, yeah, I, I think the PCA can certainly support us in that and, and pushing the ECB to, to keep their, um, the support they've had over, over the last uh, however many years is, us as England cricketers um, keep that going and, and keep um, supporting us to be the best we can.